With the Dragon Ball Super series ending and a new movie coming out soon, there are still many unsolved mysteries and many unsolved questions. And I'm here today to answer one question that nobody dared to ask before. How did Universe 11 make it so far? They weren't supposed to make it this far, but they still did. And I'm here today to explain what they did and how they did it to survive this long. And boy did it get crazy with Goku mastering his Ultra Instinct. And is it me? Or Jiren does not have nipples. <laughs> I'll just forget about that and let's move on to the video, shall we? First, let's start by mentioning that Jiren should have already been disqualified from the tournament power long ago. There have been many instances in this show where Jiren has violated the rules of the tournament and was not penalized in any way. First, during episode 117, Android 17 knocks out Ribriani's friend from the fighting stage, disqualifying her from the tournament. But look at how fast she gets disqualified. She teleports as soon as she's off the stage. Now look at episode 122 when Goku outsmarts Jiren and knocks him out with a kick. He was super far from the stage, yet he didn't get disqualified. And come on, just look at that! Even here, Jiren is breaking the rules because he's using his energy to levitate, and we know this because of the aura that forms around him. So why wouldn't Jiren get disqualified after breaking the rules? Who could be behind this? Well, it's none other than the Grand Priest and the God of Destruction. Let's break it down, shall we? Let's start with the Grand Priest. There are only three characters in this tournament that have the right to control the way the tournament operates. These three characters are the Omni Kings 1 and 2 and the Grand Priest. We can exclude the Omni Kings from this because even though they have the power to stop all this nonsense, they just don't care. As long as they're entertained, they're happier than you listening to the Yodeling Kid remix. The Grand Priest is the only one that's able to do such things. The same guy that also stopped Jiren from getting disqualified for killing Goku in episode 109 and Android 17 in episode 127. So why would someone like the Grand Priest be interested in backing up Universe 11? That's where Belmar ties in, the god of destruction for Universe 11. Don't you think it's weird that the Grand Priest and Belmar have had their eyes closed at times? Why is that? What could they be doing? What if I told you that they're communicating? Coming to an agreement so that Universe 11 gets a definite victory. They're communicating the same way that Vilmod told Jiren to attack Goku in episode 109. Through a psychic lobby. Because after having 7 Pride Troopers disqualified, Vilmod starts to realize that it won't be as easy as he thought it would be to win the Tournament of Power. Even the Universe 11 Supreme Kai was worried for losing since episode 85. In that episode, he gathered all the Supreme Kais to try to convince them to convince the Omni King to change their decision for erasing all the losing universes. He does this because, and I quote, I had hoped to find a way that all eight universes could get through this, but only one shall survive. It pains me to say it, but it's clear my universe 11 will be the one to survive because the strongest warriors are in this universe, end quote. But he's truly doing this because he knows that even though they have the strongest fighters, Topo has a huge ego like Vegeta does while Jiren is independent and won't accept any sort of support. And he knew that these issues would cause a problem during the Tournament of Power. These are the reasons I think that Universe 11 made it so far in the tournament. Hopefully I'm onto something and I hope you enjoyed. And remember, it's just a theory. Thanks for watching.